Hello and welcome to this video. So I've made a new file in the project you can see on the left hand side called log underscore wrapper dot pi. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up something that you'll find is really essential when you start running bots and that is to set up some kind of logging. Now logging in Python, uh, there's a huge amount to it. There's loads of documentation in the Python documentation online as to how it works. We're going to do it by creating a class which essentially wraps a logger. And that allows you then to have something that you can reuse for lots of different types of log in your program. So for example, in my bots, I have a log for, let's say, just normal information. I have a log for errors. I have a separate log for the calculations, a separate log for the trading, a separate log for the uh, account management and things like that. And the best way to do that usually is to set up some kind of separate class which wraps all of the functionality. So to start this off, we need to import some things. So we need to import logging and we need to import OS. This code, of course, is on GitHub because I'm going to do a bit of copy and paste here so that we don't take a, a long time. Um, but it's fairly self-explanatory. So we're going to set up uh, a new constant or variable at the top here called log format. And this will just be the format that we're going to log. So we're going to say what time we have and then we're going to say the uh, message that we also want to log. You can find all sorts of details and docs about this in the actual Python documentation because the logging library comes built in or comes with Python already. We're going to set ourselves a default level of logging, which is debugging. So you can log for info, for debug, for errors and warnings and things like that. We'll just set it to debug. And then we're going to make ourselves a new class called a log wrapper. And that class is going to have initialization where we take in the name of the log. So my log or bot log or something like this. And then the mode as well. By default, that's set to W write. That means overwrite any existing log. But it gives you the chance to optionally set maybe that to A if you want to append to previous logs that already exist. I'm going to type pass here and just drop down and write uh, another little function down below that. So I want to write a new function called create directory. Now, you might want to store your logs in different paths, different directories. You could even take the directory in as a parameter here. We're going to fix it to forward slash logs relative to where this uh, Python script is. Now, that directory doesn't exist at the moment. So what we're going to do, and that's why we imported OS, is we're going to say, if the path doesn't exist, then please make the path logs. Now you might say, why didn't we just right click here and make a new folder and be done with it? Well, I like things to be a little bit more extendable and whether, wherever I use this, I'd like my log wrapper to try and create whatever directories I need. Now, yes, in this case, we've hard coded this, but in real life, in my own systems, I have an option inside here to say what the directory is and actually also a subdirectory as well. And the first thing the log wrapper does then is call this function and create any of the directories it needs to create before moving on and actually trying to write the logs. So if we ran an instance now of log wrapper, what we should get is a logs folder inside our project folder. I'm not going to do that now, but uh, that's what should happen. Next thing we want to do is set up a file name of our actual log. So this will be our logs directory plus the name and plus dot log. And again, you probably want the path as an argument, argument into here so that you don't need to have this uh, duplication of code like this. But for our example, it'll do. So we have a file name of where we want to save our particular log. The next thing we need to do is actually go to logging and get ourselves a logging object, which has our name of our log passed into it and then we want to set the level of logging for this logging object at our default level which is our debug level here and i would like to set up a formatter and a file handler which allows me to use the log format above instead of the default format of the logging so I just want the time and the message. The default format has a lot of other information. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll set up something called a file handler. So we ask the logging to give us a file handler. We tell it that the file we want to handle is this file name and also the mode is what we've sent in. And now importantly, what we can do is we can create a formatter from logging. And I'm going quite quickly here and you might be thinking, where am I getting all this from? Well, it's, it's on the Python documentation online. Just going online, I'm on the Python documentation. There's a big how-to for logging here. And you can see there's the basic logging tutorial. And there's all the information that uh, you'll need to get things uh, up and running for yourself down here. And this is what I've used for the, the file that we're working on now. It's not massively relevant to the bot itself, so I'm just going very quickly so I don't want to waste a, a lot of time on it. So now we have a formatter so that we want to set our date format in this way. What we can do is we can tell our file handler to use this format when it's uh, formatting. 
what we need to do then is add to our logger. So our logger that we created here, our file handler, so it knows where to write. And then the last thing we'll actually do now that we're all set up is we'll actually log something saying that our log wrapper has initialized and that's the actual name of the log file. And we do that by writing some info to our log. And you can do .debug, .error, .warning, all sorts of options in here. And if I just go back to the Python documentation, you can see that in order of importance, we've got uh, debug, info, warning, and error. So we've got our base level at debug. That means anything with debug, info, warning, or error will appear in our log. If we had the base level of warning and we tried to do logging.info, this line wouldn't appear in the log. But we've set bit debug as the most basic level, so anything uh, that's logged we will see. So going back into here, what should happen then is we will log some info straight to our log and that will say that we've initialized and what our file name is. So that should be all that we need actually to get our log up and running. So I'm just going to go down the bottom and type this famous line if name is equal to main. What we can do then is make ourselves an actual log wrapper. So we'll just say our log is equal to a log wrapper and then we'll give it a name equal to test, so fully imaginative as usual. Then we can just take our log object and ask for the logger, which is part of the object, and then tell it, let's tell it to write some debug here. And we'll just say, uh, hello, like so. I should be able to type python log wrapper.py, hit enter. Now nothing actually happens, the program has run. But if I go back into the code, you can see that we've now got this logs directory and inside there we've got this test log where we've got the initialization, the file name and the hello in capital letters. So what we can do then is inside our bot is we can make a new instance of log wrapper, give it a name and then log specifically to that log whatever we need to. And as you can imagine now, we could make lots of different logs and we can use this wrapper class for all of those logs to log the various things that we need. OK, then, so that was a bit of a tangent from Oanda and trading and stuff like that. But it's an important little bit of code that we can use later on because we'll need logging to understand what our bot is doing when it's running automatically. So thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.